I think, and that that is a conclusion I reached over the years, the real added value of highly educated people in a treasury is in uh, in risk management, funding, uh, but basically it's all about business partnering, both towards the executive board, uh, the more strategic side, but also to your business groups and your subsidiaries, especially if you have a lot of emerging markets, which, which require a tailor-made approach in many respects. So you have to put in place a treasury, a, a very strong digital treasury, so that, let's say, the, the normal cash management, the normal hedging execution is almost completely digitized uh, or maybe replaced by a robot with, uh, with some artificial intelligence that you are able to almost spend no time anymore on the operational side of treasury, but you are completely open for, let's say, business partnering and, and servicing your business. If you can reach that point, then I think you... Uh, really have the reach the highest added value for your company. In the end, it is also about communication. Uh, you have to deal with CFOs, certainly if you want to become a treasurer, but you also have to do with deal with finance directors, uh, controllers, and have to be able to translate uh, into their language what you're doing and that is that is an art in itself. If you do not develop those soft skills, you will never, let's say, make it as a global treasurer, I would say. Be open for various challenges so that you keep on learning and you keep on having this uh, steep learning curve. Invest in soft skills, absolutely. Huh? So also think about effective communication presentation skills. Uh, usually the Anglo-Saxon people are much more, uh, let's say, experienced in that. It is, it is to a lesser extent in Dutch education. Uh, but, but yeah, those type of, uh, there you have to develop and keep on developing. And uh, never, never think that you are already there because there all, is always something new to learn and, and beware. Every company is different. So there is also in treasury, uh, there is not one solution for every company. That's wrong to think that way. Always you have to mix and match with the, the special situation in that particular uh, company.